MHA characters based on their quirks. That is a good one. I, that might be the winner. That is a good one. We're going to do that. That's the winner. MHA characters ranked in a tier list based on their quirks. Now, chat, I'm not going to be biased, okay? I like certain characters a lot. Others, I'm not a huge fan of. But I'm going to put those differences aside just for this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, if this makes it to YouTube. If this footage isn't lost in the ruins of my channel. Come watch on Twitch. It's fun. It's a good... Okay, so if you haven't watched new season chat, they displayed a lot of class B's quirks so i have like a very fresh perspective on them should we just do the students all of the tiers are in spanish i don't know what some of them say i mean that's like it's booted to the bottom regardless of his quirk no we're doing it based on the quirk even though minetta is a little bit it's a little hard to watch okay we're just gonna do the students we're gonna make the bottom tier bro why are you even at this school uh the top tier soon to be god uh second one pretty sick if you ask me we'll do second to the bottom accountant or hero could go either way no offense to accountants out there you guys do good work and middle will just be yeah okay i guess that's pretty good right let me zoom in a little bit all right who do we start with that's the that's the question of the day who do we start with i feel like we should start with deku to be honest now chat just before we get started this is based on i don't read the manga okay this is solely based on where the anime is okay um i'm like two episodes behind yeah like two episodes behind so yeah i have watched a lot of season five so i'm doing this chat based off of what's happened in season up to season five like in season five we're gonna talk about season five which there aren't like insane spoilers it was just like what their quirk is so if you don't want to hear about that this is your warning now we're gonna talk about some of the stuff in season five what they do what their quirks do so uh we'll start with deku i feel like i have to rank this based off of his power level now like of course deku has the potential to be stupidly insane especially with what we learned in season five but right now we'll put him at pretty sick if you ask me or do we do soon to be god this is already kind of difficult because like i said soon to be god i feel like i should just name this like we'll call it valedict I think De Deku should low-key be S tier. I think Valedictorian makes more sense. Because like, like I said, soon to be like that's hinting towards like the future. I think he has a lot of potential, but we'll put him at the Valedictorian. Next, let's do uh his buddy, his pal Bakugo. His best, best of friendo. Bakugo's already shown some development in season five, right? He's already proved that he knows that he's he's kind of open to learning a bit, right? I think Bakugo for me is gonna go at pretty sick, if you ask me. And again, we're basing it off the quirk right we're basing it solely off the quirk not his actions not who he is solely based off his quirk pretty strong strong since the beginning he didn't even really need that much time to build up ladies and gentlemen before i move on to anchor more mha fandoms about what their favorite character is i'm here to tell you about today's sponsor adventure capitalist now, i know what you're thinking you've probably heard of this game before it is a six year old mobile game and that's kind of rare these days for a mobile game to stick around that long you start with a lemonade stand and you work your way to total fiscal domination now i was so excited when i heard heard that they wanted to sponsor channel because i've literally played this before in a, a decent amount too and you can see i have accumulated 3.833 quindecillion amounts of wealth i don't even know what that number means anymore now i really also like adventure capitalist because i think the studio has a really cool story about how the game came to be and it was actually made by one of the writers in their free time it was when the company was actually about to go under they built the prototype and now 50 million people have downloaded it they're actually premiering a docuseries on their youtube channel soon so i'll leave that link down below as well but they're doing a huge event for their six year anniversary with limited time events, a store sale, a party hat giveaway, and hats are kind of a big deal, as well as six times the free time warps for Time Warp Wednesday, which is also a big deal, and a bunch of other benefits. It's easy to play during other things, like when you die in Fortnite and Warzone. I know you die a lot. Sitting on the toilet, figure skating in the Olympics. You can do it anywhere. So, a huge shout out to Adventure Capitalist for sponsoring today's video. Again, the first link down in the description below to download it for free to help both me and them out. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Let's do Kirishima. I like Kirishima a lot mr red riot i low-key want to watch was it season two or three where he uses like red riot for the first time the season four sheesh i need to rewatch mha that's a sick moment i think solely based off the fact that he can hold his own in like that kind of scenario we'll, we'll, we'll put him at it pretty sick if you ask me was he the one with fat gum he was the one with fat gum right yeah that was sick that moment was really cool that was kind of 
of unexpected too. Yeah, Kirishima had a very big breakout moment by himself. Next, let's do, oh, I wanna do someone that I'm I'm tempted to rank lower. Again, we're basing this solely off Quirk. Uh, I think Shoji is next for me. Now guys, th again, this is the dude with all the arms, right? I wanna, oh, wait, I need to pull up a tweet for this because there's a certain tweet I wanna reference. Okay, here it is. I think this is it. So this is what I think of when I when I see Shoji. So the MHA, the MHA account tweeted out, you couldn't ask for a better lookout, right? And someone said, and yet he's looking in the same direction with every eye. And they're kind of right. And that's all I think about now when they show him. I start to wonder myself, what's he really doing here, right? Yeah, they're kind of skewed in some form or fashion, but that's all I think about when I see his character now. I'm gonna say a counter hero, it could go either way, you know? Not to say he's worthless, like bro, why are you even out of school? But he could be an accountant or a hero. I think I'm confident in this decision. Who's next? Let's do the ink bottle. The manga, the manga, what's his name? His name's manga, Fukuyashi. We didn't even really know anything about him until season five. I wish I had watched these episodes like yesterday. I watched them like a, a couple weeks ago. Pretty cool. Um, If you ask me, pretty cool isn't pretty sick, right? Yeah, he's okay, I guess. I know everybody's gonna be waiting for Mineta, but I'm not doing him for a bit. Uh, It's a cool power. It's a very aesthetically cool power power is yo is okay i guess you want me to do tokoyami so tokoyami had a big moment too in season five where he <laughs> learned to fly quite frankly and that bumped him up he has pretty stupid potential uh just for that for right now based off just his quirk his quirk alone i'm putting him in valedictorian i just dude listen comparing him to some other people he's so op man also the fact that he can literally just fly now like i feel like tokoyami is going to be like in insane later next i don't remember rin Rin? Let's do Momo. So Momo's quirk, I think, is one of the most interesting in terms of, like, the potential. And she can literally just create things. I don't think she's used it to, like, an insane dimension. Oh, well, she did the cannon this season, um, which was pretty crazy. For me, it's gonna be a pretty sick if you ask me. I liked the moment with her and Todoroki whenever he was basically just like, believe it, and turned into Naruto for a second. She was like, yes, I can do it. Uh, yes, yeah, she is super smart as well. She's like, she's actually, like, probably valedictorian, like, no meme. Uh, but again, we're basing this off the quirk, not, like, her intelligence or personality like all that it's just the quirk and i think her quirk is pretty sick if you ask me i think sue would be interesting <sighs> Okay, I feel like I'm gonna make people mad with Suze. I think Suze is very cut and dry. It's like, okay, she's a frog. Nice. Suze gonna be, yeah, okay, I guess. Nothing insane. I don't see her. I'm like, oh, Poggies, Pog champion. What's she gonna do? You know, she's a likable character. I don't get insanely hyped whenever I, I see her. Yeah, personally. I think she has potential. Tenya Ida, my boy. Dude, the, the scene this season with Tenya freaking, you know, pulling out his engines out of his legs and bleeding from them in order for, what is it? Is isn't it like in order for new, like more powerful ones to grow? My God, that was so metal. Like he's just sitting there like pulling them out. They're like bleeding. I always was kind of grossed out by his quirk, you know, like just engines sticking out of your, your calves. I was always kind of grossed out by it, but it's still really cool. And he's gotten a lot of development with that. I don't know if I want to put him at valedictorian though. So for right now, I'm going to put him at pretty sick if you ask me. Since he is also to live up to his brother's you know, name as a hero. I don't want to make another one. It's like, I don't, I don't really know. Don't remember. Gonna be honest. Right off the bat, like I said, anybody want to remind me? Can any of you tell me what this character does without Googling it? Don't remember. Don't remember. I forgot. We're gonna leave her at don't remember. Gonna be honest, but I am curious. Dragon Shroud. Oh, it's a dude. Quirk is scales. Scales allow Hiryu to form hard scales throughout his entire body, which you can either use as protective armor or fire them off as projectiles. I do not remember that. That kind of just sounds like uh, Hiroshima's. Apparently he got him kind of OP this season. I don't even remember this. He used them like this this season. Like he's kind of gotten them stronger. Is this actually him? Let's do this guy. What was his name again? I don't remember a lot of class B is. Kuroiro? Kuroiro? The shadowy guy? That was a really sick quirk. Very intimidating how he just sinks into the shadows. Actually really sick if you ask me. That's almost like a villain quirk. That honestly is a villain quirk. Okay, listen. Do you say your name Jiro? I'm gonna feel bad because... <sighs> Dude, listen, I think Jiro suffers from side character syndrome where like there's only so much screen time, you know, but I think she's going to have to go down uh, with my boy Mezzo. And while I'm at it, no, I'm not going to put Coda down there too. I think Coda goes in. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Cause like he can like use animals and that's kind of cool. I think she suffers from lack of screen time. I think he does too, but his has more variety if that makes sense. So I think that's good right there. Yeah, I'm going to piss a lot of like fandoms off with this. Like people stand some MHA characters hella hard. Chat, 
Anybody want to help me out with this one? Size girl. Oh, she worked hand in hand with, um, yeah, I remember her now. And then like expanded them while they were floating in air. So the thing is hers works really well with other people's. I'm going to actually rank her because I do remember her. That's different though, because she's like a support hero. I think she's going to go in the category. A counter hero could go either way. Because that's very situational. Yeah, this looks way different than like her in her outfit. I think that's why I don't, I don't remember her. This portrait looks way different than her now. If you guys don't remember this is what this is what it looked like when like how she did it and then like she would expand them like they worked hand in hand with the the poltergeist thing we'll do another uh main or character let's do todoroki okay chat this is where my bias comes into play every time someone asks me my favorite mha character i say todoroki i think todoroki is the coolest character honestly no no question but we have to base this off not my bias base it just on his quirk based on just his quirk and not his character or anything i'm leaning between valedictorian and I'm pretty sick if you ask me. And I also rated Deku based off his potential. I honestly think Todoroki is so overpowered that it's like hard for them to write him sometimes. He's so strong that I would, I I, I feel like they'd struggle in writing him on the same power level as the rest of the class. And I think based off that alone, he goes in valedictorian. It's stupid how much stronger he is than everybody else. Based off that and how much sheer power that is, he has to go in valedictorian. That's not even with my personal bias and him being the coolest character. So with that out of the way let's go let's do kendo oh yeah she makes her fists huge okay so that's like a transformation type that one's another like not a ton of potential there i think kendo's a good character i liked her whole moment with uh momo but quirk wise yeah it's okay i guess pretty cut and dry you know let's go invisible girl this one's a weird one because i feel like she suffers from the same fate as like jiro i legitimately forget she's there sometimes like that's the whole meme right is that they forget she's there i legitimately forget she's there sometimes because she is quiet she's like a very like a more quiet character and it's a pretty simple ability there is that flash power yeah she has that flashbang thing now which is cool but i personally don't find the whole invisible thing very intriguing uh so she's okay i guess just because like like i said the invisible the whole invisible invisibility thing in general it's, it's okay i still think she has more potential in terms of like being able to go invisible and like scout than these three jiro maybe but yeah i think i'll, I'll want it like that i think monoma is a very interesting one especially after season five the whole stealing quirks thing that's a like, he even says like that's like a villain thing i'm gonna put him in pretty sick if you ask me right away he's a bit of a bit of a freak but he's very fun to watch especially the way he uses it with his he has like a major ego and that makes it more fun to watch him use it that's pretty sick if you ask me i want to do ochako i really like ochako she's adorable ochako also suffers from mc love interest she's kind of reduced to deku you know um but we're here about her quirk like i ranked monoma based off like his personality because it kind of goes hand in hand with how he uses his quirk but her her quirk's pretty strong and has a lot of potential too i'm going back and forth between these two but i think i want to leave her in pretty sick if you ask me she's saved the day a couple times i think it's a, a step higher than these five currently i don't think she would like rank up to like bakugo but it's hard to compare because his is like blunt damage and hers is like support even though they're in the same category i wouldn't compare them right so i think i like them there let's do this girl this absolute psychopath okay this absolute psychopath that grew mushrooms and my boy tokoyami's throat and lungs absolute psychotic behavior please kick her out of the school actually throw her in like some alley and run i'm gonna make her own counter kick her out of the school. I'm scared. Act no, actually, she's in her own section. I would be absolutely petrified if she was a villain. You know how taken aback I was when I saw that? Bakugo wants to kill everyone? This scared me more. What's his name? The guy that grows into the beast. Shishida. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I liked him in this season too. I think he's gonna go in pretty sick if you ask me. But it's another one of those where it's like, okay, we've seen this before, but it's still pretty cool. Mineta should be kicked out because he's not tall enough to work a desk job. Okay, dude. He didn't get as much time as he should have? Yeah. I mean, we only really got to really see him this season okay this kid the like the double tap thing i still barely understand his ability like how it works okay to win impact at the side of impact create a second impact remotely so like i, I like i said i watched this season and i was still a bit confused on it so it's kind of like a like a redirection think of it as like the the balls in demon slayer where like they redirect that's how i kind of see it it's a bit of a very specific quirk it's cool though i think he's going in pretty sick if you ask me it's very unique what does this guy do the glue he shoots out the glue yeah very weird character i really like his design but it's just like 
Okay, glue. He could work a desk job. I'm gonna be honest. I know a lot of people like Saro too. He could also work a desk job. They can work hand in hand with tape and glue. Could go either way. Hi, Bara. Probably another that had like a different outfit. Oh, dude, I made so many jokes about him. So this is the dude that can rotate any of his body parts at high speeds. Chat, guys. Guys, hear me out. That is astronomical on the quirk scale, okay? I, I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that. I looked at Naomi, I was like, no shot. That's incredible. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Sick, I'm glad we shared that moment together. I never knew his first name was Danky. That's so funny. See, but I started watching MHA uh, before I watched Boruto. So like, I probably heard the name and it didn't even like cross my mind, right? It's cool. I feel like he lost a lot of screen time as the show went on. You know, does anybody else get that vibe that he lost screen time as it as the show went on? Well, I mean, I guess we're not even here to judge screen time, but like also like the development of his quirk hasn't really changed a whole hell of a lot. I'm tempted to put him in. Yeah, OK, I guess. But I don't want it to be just because I've ranked so many people in pretty sick. If you ask me, I kind of want him to be like a strong. Yeah, OK, I guess. Or a weak. Pretty sick. If you ask me, I'm going catatonic after using it is a big nerf. It's just kind of like there's not a whole lot of depth to it you know like whenever i'm ranking these i think of depth i well i guess in that case bakugo wouldn't be that high i'm trying to think of like depth to the quirk you know i'm gonna put him at the top of yeah okay i guess even though i'm not really ranking them like in this order he can charge phones okay next no i'm just kidding <laughs> what do we gonna do next i'll let chat pick the next one the vine girl what's her name like i said a lot of the class b names are really like, I don't. Oh, Shiozaki. Yeah, so she has the vines. I'm gonna put her in pretty sick if you ask me. I think she got nerfed really hard in the uh, the fight they had. But, like, she had, like, all those vines out and could detect if they, like, were there, you know? I think they nerfed her super, super, super hard for the fight, though. But I think her quirk is pretty sick if you ask me. The girl who speaks uh, English and sub is S tier. Oh, is her name actually Pony? Isn't she, like, an exchange student? She's an exchange student, right? That's why she speaks English. Doesn't she and someone else speak English? What's the depth of her quirk, though? So that she makes the the horns that she can shoot, right? Strong enough to restrain Shoji. Rust away Tetsu Tetsu can turn his body into metal. So her horns are pretty strong. Aside from that, it's kind of just, it's okay, I guess. I don't think she's low enough to be a count or hero. Like, I mean, like they said, she can literally restrain him, who's known for his physical strength. No, she can fire them off in succession. Well, she has to, but she grows them back that quickly. Yanagi, was she in these fights? Oh yeah, she used Poltergeist. Oh, she's the one with the big hood on that's why i was like i don't recognize her yeah she has the big hood on so she went hand in hand with her yeah that's another support thing though she can like move objects around i think it's still cooler than this tier so i'm gonna put her at okay i guess because poltergeist is cool and i think it's cooler than like resizing objects we're getting uh we're we're, we're getting there chat oh boy uh what's the name sato the dude that eats sugar uh gets stronger with sugar it's like it's like a steroid basically like an insta steroid that's pretty sick if you ask me i'm I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, sugar rush? That's kind of funny. Let me just carry sugar around and gets big and beefy. Yeah, that's pretty sick if you ask me. I still kind of feel bad about Danky. I might move him at the end. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, do we want to do Mineta? Everybody's favorite character? Okay, chat. Let's set aside our biases, right? I know a lot of you don't like Mineta at all. I'm not the biggest fan of him. I'm tempted to put him in his own category that just is called just Mineta. But let's think about his quirk, chat. We have to not be biased. I know he's a little pervert. We all know it. Even people that like him know it. But we gotta think about his quirk. The berries, bro. The berries. Listen, if he didn't bleed when he used his only ability, I think it would be kind of high up. But my man literally bleeds because of it. Like, he actually bleeds using it if he uses it too much. I personally think it's a more interesting quirk than, like, the glue, the tape, the resizing. And I think it has more variety. His hero costume is, is really terrible. Yeah, that's true. But, again, we gotta focus on the quirk. <laughs> You bleed with Mangekyo Sharingan. It's still good though. Damn. I actually just got rolled. Okay, fine. He goes in okay, I guess. Damn. You got me there, boss. You really, you got my ass. Uh, They are not comparable though. Moving on. Ashido with the acid. What was her development in season five? Like the, the fight. Didn't she get something new? Can she, oh, she can climb with it now. I think if she used it in a boring manner, I would rank her lower. But she's got some variety. Like this one, she spins and like slides with it. Kind of like a protective coagulant too. Throws it. I think she puts it to good use. Yeah, she's creative with it. I'll put her in. It's okay, I guess. 
Yeah, it's okay. I think they could definitely do more with her character. Like, Agar used a lot of sand, she would be OP. Yeah, like a, like an acid, like, wave. That'd be cool. Then I would probably, I would probably up her. But at this point in the show, uh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Like, if she could use it, like, as a giant, like, in an insane mass, like, Gara with sand. Or, like, Todoroki with ice and fire. Like, in, a, in stupidly insane mass. And yeah. Okay, hers is interesting. Tokage. Is that how you say her name? She's the one that splits herself into a bunch of pieces, right? I find this per this quirk very weird, man. She like splits herself into a crap ton of pieces. And like one of them is the main piece. Are we basing this off of creativity? Because in terms of power, I think that's kind of dumb. I'm gonna say a counter hero, it really could go either way. Aoyama's kind of kind of creeps me out. The whole uh wasn't it butter? What did he try to get Deku to like? What food? Cheese! The cheese thing. Aoyama kind of got me weirded out with that. But we're talking about his quirk, not his character. The belly button. The navel laser, okay? The thing is, he like uses it, and then my man's is like out for a long time. Like he uses it for a bit, and then does like one big firing, and then he's like, all right guys, I'll see you next semester. He's gonna go in okay, I guess. It's still a little creative, and I think it's still a powerful beam. He has quite the cooldown on that bad boy. He needs some cooldown reduction. We got six characters left. Suburaba. Isn't that who rides Beast Boy? Isn't that who that is? Quirk is solid air. The air prison. Hmm. It's a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he was the one that was riding on Beast Boy during the thing. I mean, if we're if I'm being honest, it's kind of it's kind of overpowered. Like the whole prison thing. Yeah, who didn't someone who broke through it? Also, guys, what is this uniform? What is this hero outfit? Like, dude, is he just lazy? That is just sad. My man's wearing slacks. Hiroshima broke through it. It's particle style. No, particle style literally obliterates every cell in your body and sends you to a different dimension. This just traps you in air. It's just about the quirk though. He also works really well as a support character. So he's okay, I guess. My boy with the tail. I don't want to rank him too quickly because my first instinct is to throw him in the accountant category. But I feel like I'm missing maybe something with the tail. I'm sorry, bud. I really am. It's kind of just, it's kind of just a tail. Um... Yeah, I think we can all agree. Awase? Go with Awase first. He has Weld. Yeah, he merges things. I do remember that. Yeah, he kind of rolled Bakugo. I feel like solely for this scene, he deserves to be placed higher. Like, my man could have been just like your average, like, you know, he's like doing his thing, but that was pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty sick if you ask me. Um, yeah, I do feel bad about the skill guy. We'll, uh, we'll rank him. Solely based on the scales, he will go in. It's okay, I guess. Uh, but we will give him a category. We'll make him feel less left out. Honanuki. He has the softening ability. Oh, he wears the, the thing, right? Mudman. Yeah. Anything he touches softens, effectively turning solid objects into liquids. Ooh. Must yeah, no, she will stay left out. Yeah, no, I'm not moving her. Tetsu Tetsu's Kirishima, but Class B. Yeah, kind of true. I feel like we can already throw him there. Where are we putting Mudman? I think it's just okay, I guess. I don't think it's an accountant style or like accountant level ability, but I think it's okay. It was our last guy, Tamakiri. He was the uh, the insect dude, right? I really like his design. I actually do really like his, his like hero design. I think it looks really intimidating, but we're not talking about design. We're talking about the quirk. What are the depths of his quirk? Razor sharp is useful in close range combat, allowing him to quickly and easily slice through objects in his path. He's been seen producing blades from his forearms in order to attack and producing blades from his feet in order to stabilize his Footing. Scyther. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like he's another one where he has like, he could be really cool and have like a final form-esque thing, but hasn't gotten there just yet. So for right now, he's okay. I think he could very easily be up here and maybe even up here, but it is definitely better than just a tail. Well, chat, that's it. I think that went smoothly, honestly. I think we did a great job. In fact, I'm gonna say now, I'm gonna move manga up to pretty sick if you ask me. Now that we've kind of evaluated our standards and whatnot, I wanted to move him up a little bit because I think he's really unique. He's like an ink bottle, dude. That's so funny. But that's kind of it. I like this a lot. This was a solid tier list. If you're watching this on YouTube, drop a comment down below on you think you would change about this. I'll even link it in the description chat. I'll link it for you guys as well. If you want to do it, post it in Discord or something. But yeah, I think that's Solid. If you're watching this on YouTube, once again, check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Jack the Bus, so you don't miss more of these live. We'll catch you in the next one. It's base. You guys were very, very well behaved for YouTube. Thank you.